world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Good morning. Um, I never ever thought that it would be a question that I would ever ask uh, politicians, but every politician should be aware. I will be asking this of every politician because I want to know whether people who are elected to represent us to make decisions about us are sane people. It's a definition of sanity right now. Do you know what a woman is? Naomi, can you tell me what a woman is? Yes, a woman is an adult human female. It's really very straightforward. Ta-da! It's a really simple answer to a question, isn't it? Um, so does that include men who say they are women? No. OK, it, job done, move on. But why do you think so many politicians, we've seen this from Keir Starmer, but yes, a woman is an adult human female, but also trans women are, are also women. Uh, same issue I had with a, a male politician yesterday, Rishi Snack trying to just not get involved I mean, why do you think we're in this mess where our politicians can't even tell us what a woman is? I think the the real reason we're in this mess is that there has been such a sustained attempt by people purporting to be trans allies um, to make the truth unsayable, to make simple facts like biological reality um, so toxic that even senior politicians are phased by simple questions like what is a woman and, uh, and we're seeing what an extraordinarily effective job has been done this is this has been the no debate strategy yes. of stonewall and gendered intelligence and gyres and and all those organ press for change all those organizations but basically um, to even raise any questions about to even question the stonewall claim trans women are women to question that is itself transphobic and hateful and bigoted. So you can't even go there. Um, this is incredible, uh, again and again, that particularly we have men, whether they are men claiming to be women or men who are living as men, telling women what a woman is. There is no other world, no other part of the um, of, of the sort of the rights culture and the uh, you know the the victim culture of, of you know whether it's minorities of any sort where. Where we allow them, we allow the other people to to decide whether or not, you know, the definition of of what someone is. It's quite bizarre. It is, uh, and where we've arrived is a very surreal place where um, senior grown up politicians um, are phased and terrified by the question of what is a woman. I would say this is a question that needs to come up on doorsteps over and over again to get the message through that we need our politicians to understand. The basic facts of biology now you might think that boris johnson whatever you think of him um would be someone who would be acquainted um I mean, it won't come as any great surprise that boris johnson is acquainted with the basic facts of, <laughs> of biology but all politicians need to be hearing this one yeah this. And, it, and it's across the board a wonderful comment from a, a listener to uh, uh, the tweet we put out of my interview with the labour mp james murray about this yesterday uh, who said if you don't respect my sex don't expect my ex come voting day and and i really think women and men uh, you you're married to us a lot of you. Uh, you you got you got us among your children you came out of one um if you don't understand what a woman is and you don't respect what a woman is and you keep telling us that being a woman is being a, is just a figment of a man's imagination on a thursday morning i'm sorry if you're a politician who thinks that you've got no business running the country and having any say over the rest of us um naomi coming cunning keep up the great work she's a co-founder of sex matters thank you for that uh, good talk, Hot talk. Hot talk. talk radio. listen on your smart speaker watch it live on your smart tv the world headquarters of common sense talk radio